The state of Missouri got more than $2.5 billion in the last 20 years from major tobacco companies after a landmark lawsuit. Every year, the settlement nets the state hundreds of millions more, and Missouri spends barely a fraction of a percent of those funds to prevent tobacco use. Now, our own Joe McLean is breaking down the numbers tonight in an ABC 17 News Waste Busters report. A recent study was published by the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids, the American Heart Association, and half a dozen other organizations. It found that for every dollar the states spend to reduce tobacco use, tobacco companies spend 14 on marketing. But the report also says the states, including Missouri, have the money to contribute more, but they're just not using it. Back in 1998, state governments and Big Tobacco reached a settlement. The industry has since handed over more than $126 billion in payments to various states, Missouri getting more than $2.7 billion of that. But while last year's payments to the Show Me State totaled more than $138 million, the report says only $48,500 was budgeted towards anti-smoking efforts. That's the matching amount for the CDC's funding of the tobacco quit line. $48,000 is a drop in the bucket. It really does nothing to address prevention. Joy Sweeney runs the Council for Drug-Free Youth and sits on the board of Tobacco-Free Missouri. She says her organization is working to lobby state lawmakers to increase the anti-tobacco spending to just 1% of the CDC's suggestion. She says there should be more concern about the costs that aren't on a spreadsheet. Public health costs, I mean, heart disease, lung disease, pulmonary disease, COPD, the leading cause of all of these things is smoking. Sweeney says the state is doing far from enough in fighting tobacco use and is wasting the hundreds of millions in settlement money it receives each year. The CDC recommends Missouri spend about $73 million on tobacco prevention each year, but last year and this year, the state shelled out 0.01% of that amount, the lowest of any state that spends any money at all on such efforts. Meanwhile, the report says Missouri nets a quarter billion every year on tobacco revenue. Basically, it it almost appears as if the state is an advocate for or a lobby for the tobacco industry at the expense of public health. And they're not recognizing that the costs on the other side <laughs> are also paid for by taxpayers. <laughs> Missouri also has one of the lowest cigarette taxes in the entire country, which many view as an enormous loss in potential tax revenue. We'll have more on that in the next ABC 17 Wastebusters report. Joe, thank you. Now, we reached out to the state for a comment on this story. We're still waiting to hear back. You can see all the data that Joe was talking about on our website at abc17news.com. There you can also get involved by letting us know what you think about Missouri's tobacco spending. You can also tell us any other areas in state or even local government you think should be featured in the next Waste Busters segment.